How about like that? That's perfect. Yep. Can I hold it? No. Uh, yeah, you could. Just, yeah, just like that. Got it. Perfect. I'm Ann Justice Allen, and I am the wildlife veterinarian for the Arizona Game and Fish Department. I do really enjoy this job. I actually have wanted to be a veterinarian most of my life. After graduating from veterinary school, Anne went into private practice. Can we get another stretcher in here? Let's get some water on this one. Then in 2009, she okay. went to work for Arizona Game and Fish. Make sure you get up under the belly. My role is to look out yeah. for the welfare of the wildlife. Yeah, 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 lots of water all over her body, all up to her head. Anne's and expertise helps. helps the department conserve and protect over 800 species. I work with live wildlife and I work with dead wildlife. I like to look at the feathers around the, the beak. I do a lot of mortality investigations. They start with an autopsy. It's called a necropsy in, in animals. When we're doing necropsies, we're basically trying to determine what caused the death and what kind of sh other things, factors might have been impacting or affecting the animal's health in the long run. Kind of like an episode of Forensic Files featuring wildlife. We look for evidence of viruses, bacterial infection, um, poisons. Um, many of the great horned owls that we have that come in have an evidence of internal hemorrhage that is often the result of being exposed to anticoagulant rodenticides, rat poison. Keeping Arizona's wildlife safe and healthy is Anne's primary goal. When Game and Fish captures wildlife to reestablish herds or reinforce declining populations, Anne is usually there, looking after wildlife and looking out for people. I try to make sure that, that um, our biologists aren't going to accidentally expose themselves to rabies or hantavirus or something like that. Whenever we capture wildlife, there's always a risk of injury. Anne and her medical team make sure the animals are handled in the safest way possible. They monitor vital signs, draw blood, and provide necessary vaccinations. Clearly what I like doing the most is handling live wildlife, um, you know, because it's just the coolest thing to be able to work on a bighorn sheep or a pronghorn. You see, you know, those are baby teeth, baby canines. Sometimes Anne is called upon to help the Arizona Game and Fish Department's Wildlife Center care for sick, injured, and orphaned wildlife. That's the cool stuff. The not so cool stuff is sitting behind the computer, entering the data and analyzing the data and trying to figure out if there's something to going on and, or not and whether or not we need to do something about it. Like the endangered black-footed ferrets, the department began reintroducing into northern Arizona back in 1996. The population has been declining in recent years and Anne is working with the ferret team to figure out why. Oh, you already have the next transmitter ready. We're doing some research right now on quail, on whether or not moving quail from these urban areas um, around golf cape courses out into more of the wilder habitat um, might be a way of jump-starting the um, native populations where they've been imp negatively impacted by drought. The birds are banded and the females get a radio collar so researchers can track them. To see um, when they nest and if they su can successfully hatch out a group of chicks. We've done some disease surveillance and research on these guys to see what diseases the golf course quail might have and see if we've got any concerns in moving them into the wild. We handle more than a thousand animals a year, both alive and dead, and we actually provide information to the wildlife managers and biologists regarding the populations that they're trying to conserve and protect. Conserving wildlife is a team sport, and Ann Justice Allen is definitely one of the Arizona Game and Fish Department's most valuable players. This is the job for me, and, and actually sometimes I wish that I had found this job a little sooner. One hand under your chin, just like that, perfect. Oh, okay.